The Susan definitely got shot at someone at that airport, right? Deposits the film in the lab. But hey, when he goes back to get the prints, guess who signed them out? Hughes. And he hasn't put it in his report. Pass the catch up, mate. Shit, man, you should watch what you're saying. Look, I'm gonna tell her, okay? Another thing, not in his report. Barbara Hall ordered stamps. Now, if she's sending out letters, who are they to? And did Hughes take them? I overheard. Is that what you're having then? Yeah. Yeah, what you two are having is cardiac surgery on a plate. No, no, no. See, like, we're athletes. We burn us off by lunchtime. Tell her, Papa. <laughs> so, were Hughes and Hall having a scene? Possibly. You don't think he'd admit it, do you? I mean, he put her undercover, known the risks involved. Yeah, you know what I don't understand? Is if her cover was still intact, then who killed her? Maybe she was too deep in with Rosselli, mate. Oh, you mean both of them double-crossing Moreno? Yeah, I mean, that'd be reason enough to kill her and him. I said he didn't just fall into that war. He had a friggin' bullet hole in his head. No coat, no killer, and two bodies, which Amip are not happy about. And they've filed an official complaint about your behaviour at the murder scene. What do we know about Philip Savile? Nothing, except he's rich. Come off it, Edna. Savile knows Roselli. He's got Sylvie Erte living in his house. So, Savile's got a string of polo ponies. Are you holding out on me? We need the kink in Moreno, then we have a full pack. It's all in the report. The report. Thank you. All right. Could it have been in her coat? What? It's the only item missing. What are you talking about? Oh, come on, guys. What is this? The drugs. No, I've seen some furs with kilos stashed in them. He said the sniffer dogs went crazy. There was nothing in her luggage. Well, if that's the case, where does shoes fit in? We got movement. Looks like a cleaner, maybe a maid. Whoa, look what's coming up the road. Looks like the same move from the docks. Same number plate. Do you have an ID? So what do we got? The house has pretty hard tech surveillance cameras on the first floor. We're gonna have to get inside. Fingerprints have left dust over everything. Boy, this stuff is different to the stuff in the soup case, boy. This stuff is cheap. Synthetic. Did you find anything, mate? Nah, I'll check the answer to Sheen. Clean tape, no old ones. Well, I've not found anything bar bank statements. She was in credit 500 quid and this place is rented. <laughs> Stuff in the bookshelf, couple of photos of a graduation and uh, one from Brams Hill. <laughs> Amit have taken most of it. You know, she must have been about the same age as Meryl, right? So? She's counterintelligent. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be something, you know what I mean? Like a dress book and yeah, diaries. Well, you got a diary? Old address book. Thank you very much. Well, you know what I say. You find Hughes's address, 
and go and do his play, so... <laughs> Hang on. Now, this is our first assignment. Oh, believe me, boy, I know. But right now, we look like pricks, you get me? I mean, he's got your surveillance photos, right? He's withheld information. Come on, guys, come with me on this. I'm not a pussy, Jake. I'm not getting out of it. I've been ordered to replace Leyland. They uh, think they may have ID'd Moreno as a passenger in a Merc. Description fits the guy I saw at the airport. Black hat, black coat. Having a session? Having a quiet fag. This is where you come when you need chilling out. He's supposed to sort out your scrambled undercover brains, but he's never here. Always lecturing. Did we get any further with our missing coat, sir? No. Nope. All we've got so far is a surveillance shot of a man who might be Moreno at Savile's place. He came and then went straight away. Leyland's on it. We get anything more from the airport? There was a guy up on the first floor, sir. No, nothing. So what's our next move? But the body's been released for burial. So if anybody wants me, I shall be at the funeral. You know you're going to be OK. To your company. I've got it. Chief's coming with me. Where to? Hastings. on the boat in Chelsea Harbour. It's owned by Sylvie Erte, the fashion designer and socialite. Friend of Roselli. She introduced Barbara to... We're concentrating on the title, Fox. Mike's going to bugger up his security system so the team can go in and fix it, and him. Oh, yeah. Nice to be kept informed. Is there anything else I should know about? Savile's purchased an old laboratory. Played quite a lot of money for it. Ye gods, it. Now, how long have you known about this? 24 minutes. What doesn't knit is why Savile's involved with a punk like Moreno. Unless he doesn't realise who he's getting involved with. Maybe Barbara Hall didn't. We send a nice wreath. set at Savile's. Look who's coming out. Maybe he just sussed his security cameras are out. OK. Maybe it's time for his alarm to go haywire. See if it's open on the other side. Yeah, it's open. Jeez. That's an invite for burglars. Or us. Thank you. 
Not even a photo of his kids. Damn. He was married to a nurse, according to his file. He had two kids, divorced 89. Yeah, I've got some condoms. There's enough of them. Well stocked. I've got handcuffs, government issue. What? And that's about it. Vests, underpants. No. No tape. This machine's not even on. He's got no letters, no diary, no nothing. <laughs> and it's what it was, you call this. The way it's weird, let me tell you. Christ, turn the alarm off or you'll get the uniforms here. What's, what's taking you so long? You know what could have happened, sir? Wasp nest in the box outside. Oh, they can create havoc with these sensitive alarms. Yep. I think that's what it is. But I'll double check. Hurry it up, will you? Come on, my man, let's go, let's go. Hey, look at this. White's hotel logo. Addressed to Barbara Hall. Maybe you were right. Just got the wrong bloke. She may have been planning on doing a runner, but not with Rosselli. With Hughes. I could get you hauled over the coals for this. Yeah, but you won't, will you? Because you also know about the missing prince. Just shut it. Let me think. Can't shut me up, Jenny. Come on, you know you've got to get him to talk at least. Or report the guy. You know he's bent. Yeah, well, this is not enough. Nor are the missing prints yet. How much do you want? Hmm? Just let me think this one through, Jake. OK. Mum, you think it through. But I am not going to sit on it for long, OK? No jumped-up secret squirrel agent is going to muck up my career. Now, either you report him or I will. Officer Philip Savile's residence wired. Cameras in the hall, kitchen, sitting room, and first floor landing. Mm. Has Moreno made any further contact? We tailed him to the Hilton. The Susan's still there. Anything else? Any truth in the rumor Hughes is knocking off Barbara Hall? I'm not privy to Simon Hughes's private life. Pity. I used to make it my job to know who was screwing <coughs> who. Maybe you should be a bit more nosy. Not married, are you? No, I'm not. Suggest dinner. I'm sorry. With Hughes, he's wrecked. Looks like he needs a friend. A few drinks, quiet restaurant. He's not my type. <laughs> Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Check him over. I'm worried about him. We're one big family, sweetie. Got to look out for each other. Listen, you prat.
I'm still outside Moreno's. Are you coming or not? HQ have been on. Negative Romeo 4. I'm staying put. Wake up! You just got a call. Someone's coming through loud and clear, says that bloody boat over. But the call is muffled. What? Oh my god. What is it? No, no, not here. Unless we are seen together, the better. Meet me tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. at the laboratory. Until we have run the tests and I am fully satisfied, you won't get another cent. That was the deal. Yes. Yes. What's happened? Moreno found the girl, and he's got it. I warned him about using her and Roselli. Why? What's happened? He's dead. Louis? So is the girl. Moreno said something about them trying to pull a scam. That's why she never turned up to Heathrow. Louis is dead? No, mate. He was here. I don't understand. Just you. listen to me. I don't understand. They could have jeopardized the whole thing. Sylvie, have you even the slightest idea how much money I've laid out on this? How much this deal could actually be worth? And those two idiots couldn't keep their bloody grubby hands off each other. All they had to do was wait. Has Marino got it? The coat? Coat? I thought you said you put it in a vanity case so she wouldn't notice it. I did. Just uh, Louis mentioned something about her coat. Well, she won't be needing it now, will she? If I had any idea the kind of people I was getting involved in, I wouldn't. Try some call. Successful. Repeat. But successful. I am in on it. And not because of you. Don't. Don't cross Marina, darling. I've just had that bastard threaten me. And that sounded like one, too. Was that a threat? Silly! No, no. But be careful. Downey, I'll be right there. Look, would you order the cannelloni for me as a starter, and I'll have a steak rare with spinach. Where are you going? My alarm's gone off. It's a regular occurrence. It only take a couple of seconds. I mustn't have said it right. I guess I just can't believe it not. Sorry to disturb you. I was worried. Have you seen that? Might be those ruddy kids off the estate trying to keep their way in. The kids nowadays have got big feet. Thanks again, love.
size shoe does your mouth fit? Romeo 4 from Gold, who's your backup? Romeo 2. Not a lot going on. Subject 3 still in his suite. Driver's washing his car and. Uh... Thanks. Starter. Too much wine. No, I'm sorry. I'll uh, just have the main course and another bottle. Thanks. Everything all right? Mm. Yeah. Don't look all the time. The old girl across the corridor gets her niggers in a twist. Cheers. So, what do you want, Janie? Why should I want something? Because playing the fan for town just doesn't suit you. You really know how to make a girl feel good. Maybe, just maybe, Simon, I really wanted to talk. Well, I'm all ears. Not about me. You. the funeral. Pretty awful. How's your pasta? Fine. How's your steak? Tough. Like you? No, Janie. <laughs> I'm not tough. I'm a pusher. Are you? Mm -hmm. I just felt you needed company. I do. But not the kind I think you'd be prepared to give. I need to get laid. You up for it? I'll get you a cab. I didn't say no. Yeah, that's a good luck. Taxi! Well, good night, you. Jenny. Good night. We got moving. Subject fours just met up with a woman and the brown mini registration. Uniform kilo, November 984 Sierra. Now moving towards the BMW. Are we getting anyone to take over from us? We've been on for 24 hours and this van is gonna start sending out signals of its own. Hughes went to Victoria Station, left luggage yesterday. Made a collection, then went back to his place. What do you pick up? I don't know, but I think it's the trucks. And I swear that white's bent, you know what I mean? I mean, I tell Layla, report it. Next minute, she's all lovey-dovey with white. Maybe she's playing a double gang, too. Hey, hey, hang on. I mean, is there anyone else in this unit that's straight apart from us? I don't know. I just work here, mate. What's up? Savile, sir. A company by a woman, drove to where, entered a building at the end of the lane. Don't worry about it, no Leyland's on her. I know. I'm going in. Surprised he found the time to get in. Boy. Yep. 
The owner of the Mini, Noreen Mayer Patterson. She was part of a nuclear research team until she had mental problems. Prozac out of her job. She's got enough scientific credentials to make your hair stand on end. Bit of a calm down making drugs for Moreno. I think the old boy is Yuri Gramsci. Very sharp-eyed, Detective Chief Inspector Leyland. Yeah, well, I had an early night. Early bird catches the worm. Well, what's going down? Our Russian friend could be opening up his lab for business. Are any of you armed? No. No. I am. Follow me around the back. Back me up. Where do you want us? Where you usually are, on my ass. Where is it then? Has someone opened this? It's got radioactivity on the outside. I can't see that it's leaked. You do take proper safety precautions. Da, of course. Oh, cynical. If this is it, it'll be a physicist's dream. I certainly hope so. We paid enough for it. So have many others, Philip. A lot of countries are desperate to get their hands on this stuff. Will you be able to tell it's the real McCoy? Certainly hope so. I tested for it once before and found an even numbered isotope. The Middle East have fallen foul on this numerous times. Even so, it doesn't stop the demand for it. Supply and demand. Do you know that the Roman god Mercury? from Romeo 5. Contact HQ. Use code name Roman God. We need the old sweats here now. How much longer? I'll tell you when I'm ready. Zelly, good what? girl. Necessary. Necessary. She was a cop. What? It's all right. She and Roselli had their own agenda. The bitch sold kilos of grade A cocaine. Nuclear Ask Sylvie. Was stashed in her coat. What drugs? The instruments of the electrical circuit years out of date. Still, five thousand pounds for one night's work. Come in handy. The bastards wouldn't even give me a pension. That's odd. It's not giving me a reading.
Where the hell did he go back in? Hughes, do you hear me? What? Was that who I thought it was? Where the hell are you? I'm on my way back to HQ. Tell Leyland not to take such bloody stupid risks in the future. Put him on, I want to no, talk mate. to him. You do it. I swear. Don't lie. Tell me the truth. <laughs> they stole drugs from Marina. Then they got scared. I didn't want any part of it. Did uh, Sally know she was a police officer? Uh, Norma. Moreno's killed a policewoman. <laughs> now, tell me about the bloody coat. <laughs> tell me. Well, Louis broke into Moreno's factory and took, stole seven kilos of cocaine. Yeah. I don't know what it's about. I lost sound earlier on. Look, all I know is Saddle came in and started having a go at Sylvie Erte. They can't each other hammering songs. Stairs. <coughs> it's getting nasty. I, I think you could really hurt her. I mean, call the old Bill if you want him picked up. We'll do. Yeah, I'd like to report a domestic argument. It sounds very violent. Yeah. No, I can't give you details. The address is 42 Kensington Crescent, W14. The parties? Philip Saville and Sylvia Erte. He's still with us. Flashed again. He just want to go. Slow down. Slow down. Got a problem? Stay put. What you want? I want to talk to your passenger. Come on, frisk me, I'm clean. I want to do a deal. I've got the coat. One that belonged to Norma Jones. I was her partner. Thank you. So, Miguel, you'd like the cocaine brought in by Norma Jones? I'd like to get it for you. It's a bloody joke, mate. Moreno's disappeared. Savannah's has been taken off a saddle, and nobody knows where Hughes is. Well, pardon me for sounding like a first class prick, but do you know what's going on around here? Oh, yeah, I'll tell you what's going on, mate. Barbara Hall comes in here with her coat stashed with kilos. Now, you said that. Yeah. Yeah? No. You set up this operation. Hughes. You sent her off to Whitley. Hughes. You signed out for the Souza's Prince. Hughes. Who nicked the letter from the hotel? Yeah, Hughes. Yeah, right. If the Souza's Prince were processed here, there's got to be negatives, right? No, you know. You'd never get them released. 
radioed the Sousa because I knew he'd only got shot off his back. I know I got part of him, I know it. You don't even know if Hughes took the coat from left luggage. I mean, we don't even know if the drugs were in the coat. Jake said it was in a plastic bag. He didn't even see it. Then what the hell did he collect, eh? Must have been drugs. Moreno's a known drug dealer. Oh, Christ almighty, isn't that what all this is about? You and Jake are the ones with the theory. What if we've been up a blind alley with Roselli all along and it was Hughes who set up the drugs? Get him. Get what? Oh. Hughes was at the airport. Now, what is it I've been saying all this time? I knew it. I was right. Maybe he was there under orders. Oh, yeah. What is it with you? Why do you keep defending this guy? Oh, 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 sorry, I didn't forget. You did have a hot deed last night. You must be tired. Maybe I had orders to have dinner yeah, with him. Yeah, 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 whatever. Jane, he's got the drugs. All right? I know it. Now, come on, let me prove it. Get in. Oh, wait. I've got what you want. You can have it if you kept your word. Come on, you get it for peanuts. This stuff is pure uncut. I know what it's worth. It's mine. All I'm asking for is 20 grand. Probably would have cost you that much to bring it in here. Just outside the car with him. Hand it over to me. No can do. You pass the money over at the same time, or I walk. Okay, this is a big risk for me. Do it, and I'm out of here. Get the case. Where's the coat? This coat? Oh, sorry. So sorry. Have you got a warrant? Or shall I arrest the three of you for burglary? Now, just get the fuck out of here. I'll deal with this later. I want an explanation. Piss off, sweetheart. You'll be told whatever you need to know when I decide to tell you. Just get out of here and take those two assholes with you. And if your soul fits that print on my trash disposal door, wipe it.
15 grand. Nice little steam. And even better, we get to keep the loot. Well, you can't be named, so you never set up Moreno. He's being held at Southampton Street, pending charges. Lovely. Oh. I'll have to sign the required chitties. No, I want government paranoia setting in. We've got enough in our own unit. Straighten out those Benetton boys, darling. They're snapping at your heels. Edna, before you count it note for note, could you give something to Barbara Hall's family? Make out it's some kind of commendation? You made a very big mistake with that little lady, Simon. It's not over yet. Explain these. I didn't believe she'd turn. I uh, had to see for myself. So you nearly blew the entire operation, because when she saw you, she ran. I'm sorry. You walked very close to the edge, Simon. Be careful you don't fall off. Go face the music. Well, I believe you've, uh, you've all seen these. My third man impression. Not my best side. I was just there to uh, keep an eye on you all. Right, can we cut the lights, please? Right, the first slide is Yuri Gramsky, who was the head of a nuclear testing laboratory in the Ukraine. Alcoholic and morphine addict. St. Petersburg, 1994. Gramsky used his scientific skills to produce synthetic drugs. 1995, Moscow. A man with him in Red Square, Miguel Moreno. And here, in 1996, with Julio Castellano, the deceased husband of fashion designer Silvi Erte. Now, Roselli was Silvi's lover. And she dumped him for Philip Savile. Bell's starting to ring. See the links? It was Gramsci's addictions, morphine and vodka, which tied him to Miguel Moreno. He was happy until his young assistant, thank you, Maria Tordoski, was killed by the Mafia. We believe that Gramsci knew that Moreno had set up the hit, our little snowdrop was maybe the love of his life. Ramsky wanted a way out, and he saw it in the worldwide hype surrounding a dangerous nuclear component, plutonium-239, known as red mercury. Lights, please. According to the experts, this substance could simplify the construction of nuclear weapons and was therefore very attractive to terrorists. Well, then again, maybe Red Mercury was all one big hoax. You'll be pleased to hear Philip Savile lost millions on silver nail varnish. It was in her vanity case. That's what you were looking for. Operation Falcon was originally set up by the International Coordination Unit using DLOs. Barbara Hall was already undercover when we were tipped off that maybe Moreno was dealing in Red Mercury. But lack of certainty forced us to make Operation Falcon a two-tier operation. Wouldn't it have been simpler if we'd been informed from the word go just what kind of operation this was? I mean, now we've just been wasting our time. No, Inspector Brown, you've wasted hours. You lost Barbara Hall. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Turn the lights out as you leave. We can't waste electricity. Lives, maybe. Anyone fancy a pint? Absolutely. bloody Can one of you check the corridor first? I'll do it. Thanks, Jake.
Yeah. Why not? She was very beautiful, wasn't she? I'm very young. 25. Born March 15th. Pisces. Do you believe in this idea? I live by it. I'm a ram. What are you? Crab. That's good. You certainly scuttle around a lot, don't you? I'm sorry. Truce. Good at working in the dark. See you tomorrow. Yep, new case. Briefing 0835. In here. Don't be late. Did you love her? I just chose her. Big mistake. No. Nice.